Hey guys, this is Kazim Rahman, host of the world famous Tough Choice with Kazim Rahman. This episode is going to be a little special. This is our exclusive cuts episode. Basically, here's what happens. When I bring a guest on, I usually record with them for about 45 minutes and I cut it down to around 30 to 35. So sometimes questions don't make the cut, right? But I don't like to throw all those questions away because sometimes the questions are really good. So we want to just, you know, condense some of those questions and put them all into like an episode for you guys. It's our exclusive cuts episode. Everyone in here is really funny. Former guests on the podcast. You're definitely going to hear some familiar voices. And yeah, if you like this episode, let us know. Email toughchoice at outlook.com. We can do more episodes. And if you don't like this episode, then well, this will be the only exclusive cuts episode we will have. So with further ado, let us start the podcast. Would you rather eat a popsicle made from each other's urine? So me eat a popsicle made out of your urine and you eat a popsicle made out of my urine or have an extra chromosome. Have an extra chromosome. No. <laughs> Come on. Are man. you serious? And okay. <laughs> an extra chromosome. You're retarded. Like <laughs> legally and clinically. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. Te- are there's no, no, there's no technical term to it. Retarded. You are retarded. Like or, clinically, not the not this PC culture. Oh, you can't say retarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about the legal definition and the clinical retardation. Technically, or, or eat a popsicle made of your piss. It's a popsicle. <laughs> Doesn't that also make me <laughs> retarded? Or no, it doesn't. Yeah, it would be. Honest to God, I don't know why I'm thinking it would be a personal thing. Like I would just be in the kitchen by myself eating popsicle. I don't know why. Casually. I don't think it'd be a public. I don't think it'd be a public situation. In my opinion. Yeah, but it's, it's, oh man, you might be right. Yeah. It, it's Dude, like you the gotta inchworm. Eat, you gotta it's like the inchworm. You gotta, it's, like it's the, quick. You gotta just eat the popsicle. Yeah. Eat the popsicle. To be honest with you. You convinced me. You convinced me. You gotta me. just eat the popsicle. You're not going to enjoy it. True. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not supposed to enjoy it. No. It's popsicle made out of urine. But yeah. do you want an extra chromosome? At least you know what you're eating. Exactly. exactly. I know exactly what I'm eating. I'm just, listen, I will, in my defense, I drink a lot of water. So you're good. Right? Oh, okay. It won't be like a bad popsicle. 70, 30 consistency. Yeah. 70, 30 consistency. It'll be, a, it'll be fairly clear. Okay. Right. If it was a popsicle that was like dark urine, yeah. I'd be like, oh, maybe See, I want this extra chromosome. For you, I had asparagus. Oh no. Yeah. It's going to be oh, a funky, no. that changes the game. Okay. Yeah. I'll still eat the popsicle though. Yeah. I don't want an extra chromosome. No. Popsicles one time. Yeah, it's true. One day of your life. Would you rather... Never talk to any of your friends again or have walrus tusks. Do you know what I'm talking about? The tusks. I, I know what a, a, I know what a, a walrus. walrus is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've seen National Geographic before. I would go with the t- not talking to my friends again. That would suck. That would no. be painful. Never but talk to any would, of your friends again. But you would make new friends. You would have to. You would have who's to be gonna, like, who's gonna want to be your friend when you have walrus tusks? <laughs> no, that's what you, you didn't say both. <laughs> exactly. No, you're, gonna, oh, you're saying who you're saying that no, if I never talk to any one of my friends, I'm still allowed to make still, new friends. Oh yeah, you're right. You don't have walrus tusks if yeah. you just choose to talk to none of your friends again. Yeah. I can't do that. I feel I feel really bad. Yeah, I can. Never mind. I don't want walrus yeah. tusks. Yeah, you can. You're right. You're well, right. You need to. You're right. Talk to all the dudes we know Fair that enough. are taking up pinky ring so bad right yeah. now that, that you you will never talk. Hey, man. <laughs> walrus tusks are that's that's yeah. That's what's gonna to... make you not have many friends. I think when my friends realize that it's because I don't want to have walrus tusks, they'll get over it. Yeah. And then I just and then we go on about our yeah, day. Yeah, it's not just you. Let's still pray like for the face of the earth. They they know what happened. Would you rather? Only be able to talk in song lyrics or only be able to drink tomato juice for the rest of your life. Tomato juice. Your skin will start smelling like tomatoes and your skin will probably get a little red hue. Not even, I don't think it's water either. I think you can only drink tomato juice. Hmm. Or only, it's not like you have to sing the song, by the way. 
You just have to talk in song lyrics. I, I don't believe I can fly. I don't be, I don't think I know that many songs like that to only talk in song lyrics. You need to believe in yourself. Hmm. What song is that from? It sounds like a song. It sounds like a song. That yes, has I to understand be a song. what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, but song lyrics that you know, right? Because <laughs> you're only I would only be able to to do lyrics of the last five songs I was listening to. <laughs> right? And that was mm. Eminem Rap God. That was You were just listening um, to Rap God? I was listening to Rap God just now. I was mm. listening to some Tory Lanes, R.I.P. to him. <laughs> I was listening to <laughs> Joyner Lucas. Why'd you do it, Tory? I was listening to <laughs> Why'd you do it, He's Tory? so stupid. <laughs> um But yeah, no. I can't Were they dated though? Were I they can't dated? Do, this not a podcast. Oh, come I on. We're not allowed do, to talk about No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know the rules here. We don't do current events. We don't do people's. Oh, lives. you actually, you actually we make a note to not do, do current events. We don't do current events. We do ignorance. Mm. That's what we do. Okay. That's what we do here. Only be able to talk in song lyric, oh, or yeah. only be able to drink tomato juice for the rest of your life. Yeah. Mm. I'm already out of songs. Exactly. Yeah, let's. Uh, you have to do tomato juice. When you say tomato juice, like that's your only form of nourishment, or that's the only thing you can drink. That's the only thing you can drink. Okay. Um, so maybe you can eat, but you can only drink, drink tomato, tomato juice. juice. And we'll say water too, because right. I mean, you need oh, then, uh, tomato if you juice. Don't, if, if you don't do water, you're going to die. Yeah. Then yeah, tomato juice. Because you can't just do tomato juice. Right. If unless you like make your own tomato juice with water. Very. But diluted. Yeah. But, I mean, tomato juice. We got to do it because yeah. I can't. I can't think of like how many songs. I can only think of like ten songs that I know off the top of my head right now. But you know, I imagine that if you did have to literally do this, then if you had to literally I'd do this, out. you would eventually have a, a catalog of songs that you use to communicate. Like there'd be one song that you know, kind of like Bumblebee in those Transformer yeah. movies, where it's oh, like oh, he speaks from the radio, exactly. Where it's like eventually yeah. you're gonna figure out your own little Bumblebee type yeah. mind. Yeah. Warp to make things happen. I'm I'm definitely gonna speak less. Yeah. Right. And get more respect because he just he's very you know he just <laughs> he reserves his words. Yeah. Boom. Strong silent type. You are held hostage. All right. Would you rather have as your hostage negotiator Snoop Dogg or DMX? You know, DMX is terrifying, and he just not anymore. No, no, no. Regardless, regardless, that man. I've seen even interviews of him like recently, not yeah. recently, but former. Oh yeah, all his year, old old year. interviews of him are. We talking about today, right now, Snoop Dogg. Today, today, right, right now, DMX, now yeah. DMX. Regardless, doing prayers at Kanye West's Sunday service is not terrifying whatsoever. No, but he could still. But regardless, he's too um, impulsive and abrasive, and I mm. think um, Snoop Dogg is composed and cordial, and I think yeah. he could be like, "Come on, man, let's get this motherfucker out." Of here. DMX is like, more you know, of a loose cannon. Yes. I'll say that he could just all of a sudden like, like be like, "You know, know what? Kill that motherfucker." Bro. He you might know? just yeah. like you know, he might fall off the wagon. He might. He might get back on drugs, dude. He might just dip out and just steal or, yeah. the or FBI car. Yeah, just steal yeah, the yeah, you're right. Like you said, he might just be like, "Yo, kill him. Fuck it. I don't care. Kill that motherfucker." I don't know. You know, he don't give a fuck, dude. That guy's a liability. Yeah, Snoop Dogg would be a little better. Very smart, too. I think, I think whoever kidnapped me would, they might, they might not always be familiar with DMX's work, but they'll all, everyone knows, everyone knows at Dogg. least one thing Snoop Dogg has done. Everyone knows Snoop He's just Dogg. been around for so long. He's worldwide for sure. But yeah. I mean, regardless of that, it's just Snoop is way more just relax and he's a stoner i don't want a yeah. cokehead negotiating for me i want a stoner mm. to negotiate for you me you don't want a cokehead Fuck you no. don't want a cokehead negotiating no. for you you want a stoner yeah. that makes perfect sense yeah all day damn never would want that you don't yeah yeah snoop dogg and snoop dogg will probably have good weed for them he'll just bring weed but he'll, he'll he'll figure something out right? there'll be some kind of deal the like, weird you know. thing snoop dogg will bring weed they'll all get high and then They'll get over Snoop Dogg it. would just grab me and be like, yo, let's get out of here. Dude, he'll like. Because they're probably lightweights. Out, he'll figure out a way to like, you know, gas the whole building, but it's not gas. It's just mm. weed. And then they're just sitting there, they're all tripping out like, this isn't gas. Thing, and then they all start his, getting high. I watch and it like, just be his secondhand smoke. It's not even yeah. from anything. <laughs> 
it's not even man. He's just it's blowing. Just him he's just, smoking yeah, weed he's outside. Just smoking weed outside. And then all the guys that are holding you hostage, you just they start getting high, and then they they're start like, giggling. Start, yeah, and they start thinking things, overthinking things, like, oh, we shouldn't have done this. Like, yeah. oh man, you know what? Let's see if they'll just like drop everything. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You want a stoner there? Yeah, you want a stoner. You want a stoner. You don't want a cokehead. Would you rather have all of your meals soaked in water before eating them, <laughs> or? Use a litter box every time you need to go to the bathroom. Bathroom as in dumps too. Yeah, no. Water. No, I can't do Thank that. Thank you. You can't. No, yeah. You gotta no. do litter I'm gonna just go shit in the fucking box. Shit in the box. We're we got way too fancy with our toilets anyway. Yeah, boom. Right? Yeah. Listen, man, in Nigeria, there's a hole. There's a hole. All right. There's a hole and you just cover the hole up. Right? It's a back house. People ask me- In what, parts of the yeah. country, there's still back houses. People ask you what? Go ahead. Sorry. People, people ask me why, why you should go camping. I, I go camping like once a, week, once a year. Okay. You got to remember that people shit in the woods. You got to remember that mm. life at the end of the day comes down to you at one point in the day, popping a squat, popping a dump, feeling like an animal, feeling gross. Boom. It's just a, it's like an ego- Humbles ego, you. Yeah, yeah. It's an it ego. Humbles yeah, you. it breaks your ego down. It rem- reminds you that, you know, that chick might not be that hot anyway. She's got to pop down, take a shit. You know what I mean? This mm. is the, I got to live my life like this. That I is gotta, true. You know, that is very true. So, what you're saying is a litter box is actually, it would be good for the society. If it's more good people, for society. Yeah. It's good it's, for keeping humble. Keeps you grounded. Keeps you grounded. Wow. I never even thought about that. Yeah. We've been trying to pretend we're more than a litter box will make America great. They don't want us. They don't want us talking to the mass man, media right now. Y'all aren't man. ready they, for this conversation, yeah. man. They really aren't. Y'all aren't ready for this. Listen, this is what we do here. At I'm thinking stories. Shark Tank. Let's make sure we cut this boxes. out and, and get a <laughs> patent gonna pending edit. before we're gonna we edit this. We're gonna edit this part. This out will come out when patent pens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Also, a litter box. I mean, here's what I would do. I would try to plan it. Definitely, <laughs> I would try to plan my shits and my pisses, right? Because I wouldn't. I'd want to just pee and shit in my own house. Have the litter box under the sink. Pull it out. When people visit, I don't. I won't ever have to use the restroom. I'll still have a toilet. Boom. Yeah, you. You, you got too much. That, yeah. No, no, no. You just gotta act like you got a crazy cat that's always outdoors. If someone comes home and they see what's going on, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Or I can just keep the thing that yeah, <laughs> yeah. a cat that takes crazy shits. Yeah, this this cat is <laughs> like, nuts. Why, like, this guy got a bobcat. How and big is your cat? No whole apartment. Listen, man, <laughs> yeah. My cat had Indian food the other day, and it's it was a, just yeah. just one of those things. Would you rather give a TED Talk nude or have your clothes ripped off during an interview on The Tonight Show? Give one TED Talk nude? Yes. Or have your clothes ripped off on I the I would do a TED Talk nude. Talk about fitness or something. Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking, a- I'm thinking no, only because I just started working out like vigorously again. <laughs> so is my body where I want it to be? No. But... I feel like there probably is a new TED talk where it's like something about body positivity or something. Yeah, but it's probably on Pornhub or something. It's not like going to be on like an actual like YouTube. TED, yeah, it's not going to be on a YouTube stage. No, I mean, there's comedy shows where people perform naked. Like I did half naked. I did an underwear comedy. Yeah, show. that's underwear. No, but there are naked ones. That, oh, there was. I know of one that was in New York where everybody just performed naked. They have naked roasts. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, Keith Carey and Connor McSpadden did that oh, on okay. Comedy Central. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to them. They're really yeah, they're good. hilarious. They're hilarious. But do a TED Talk nude. Yeah, I'd rather do that as opposed to like have someone come on unsuspectingly. Yeah. Rip your clothes off. That's like a crime. I will. Be the victim is, of exactly. A crime. I'll be the victim of the crime and then I can come back on but the tonight's thing, show. But the thing about the but TED that is Talk. Embarrassing. The, the TED Talk will be the TED dignified. Talk, you're prepared. It's more dignified. Yeah, also. you can chub up. It's weird. It's exactly. <laughs> it's the, weird. The tonight it's show. weird that we're saying the TED Talk nude. It's a more dignified environment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. People would come in I don't know why that. I thought when I give the nude TED Talk, I, I forgot that I'm still going to be speaking in an ele- intellectual tone. Yeah. I'll still be speaking about smart things. And yeah. it's a TED Talk. It's not like those stupid TEDx ones. It's a real TED. This is a TED Talk. And as opposed to like you're on Kimmel and some rando runs out of the crowd and rips your clothes off. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, am yeah. I in the right light? Yeah, exactly. Like that. You can do some fucking push-ups and sit-ups before Boom, your TED Talk. And yeah, exactly. And if rip. I know it's going to be a TED Talk, keto, yeah. done. Yeah, you got right? Water. a couple done. days to prepare. Intermittent fasting, done. Yeah. Right? Yeah, TED of talk. course. We got to do the TED Talk nude, people. Look your best. Of course, it's please, it's gonna go viral.
Would you rather live in a maximum security prison or live in a giant ant farm? Listen, have you watched prison shows? I've watched prison shows. Okay. Most of those bitches don't have teeth. Boom. They'll like, you know, they'll sell their coochies for like a hot dog. Okay. I'm not trying to get. a good deal. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, it's a hot dog. Yeah. It's not bacon wrapped. Boom. Uh, to see where most prisoners end up and to see the prison stories, like, I'm good. I don't want to live that life. I feel like I'm superior to that. I'm going to take that ant farm. I don't think you understand how many ants <laughs> you're dealing with here. A giant ant it's farm. It's fine. I would Pri- rather deal prison. with insects. A maximum security prison. A maximum security prison is less dangerous than a giant ant farm. I don't want to be around prisoners. I went to you'd visit my around, cousin in jail once. You'd rather be around giant I'm ants? I'm good. Yeah. You guys be around giant ants. That's fine. They what don't are, talk. They're going to kill you. I'm going to kill them. You're not an ant. I will figure it out. I'll take these prisoners. Okay, go for Listen, it. Listen, will I be a bitch in jail? 100%. No. No, I will not. Yeah, you will. I will go in. Because you can't redeem I will yourself go from in. this. Listen, I will go in. Kazim, you have a nice job. Hear me out. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> That made, that made absolutely no sense. Yeah, it does. What does me having a nice job have anything to do with me you, surviving jail? Look, I don't see you with missing teeth. Yes. I don't see you talking shit to other prisoners. I, okay. I just, I see you as a nice boy. I would go in. You're a nice boy. I would do one of two things, right? One, I'm not living in an ant farm. I would go in. All right? Oh my God. I would either, I would either try to fight the biggest man I find. So people know, <laughs> listen, don't fuck with this guy. Don't. Right, me. you gotta bite him in the face, also. Or Ooh, you're gonna mic Tyson or, a prisoner, of course. All right, so they know not to fuck with me. All right. Or what you do is you go in, you just say, "Hey, listen, I'm extremely religious, right?" And you just and you just carry around a Bible, books. You just work in the library, right? You you want to teach prisoners how to read. Right? Yeah, but you they're wanna, still you gonna fuck the, you up. You want to be the guy that's so helpful. You know, that no one wants to fuck with you because no. they need you to There's, oh, escape. But do you know how twisted people are in prison? They fu- like, okay. I think the trials of Gabriel Fernandez. Here's, here's what you're saying right now. Oh you're saying that people. People suck. Are less dangerous than giant ants. Yes. No, people are more dangerous than giant ants. You're saying that. Yes. You're, okay. Have you seen the no, trials no. of Gabriel Fernandez? No. Have you I'll seen watch. his fucked up parents? No. Yeah. I've not seen that. I I learned this from my therapist. Like I've okay. learned a lot of shit in these past couple of days after watching okay. that trial because okay. my therapist works at LAC USC at the Rape Kit Center and okay. CPS Services. Yeah. People are fucked up. Does she work in a giant ants farm? She doesn't because she'd no. be dead by then. No, she'd but I still don't trust now. people. She'd Fuck people. You, Fuck people. You want to work in a giant ant farm? Yeah, I'm gonna work in a giant ant farm. Nah, fam. I can't do that with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen. I'm going to just go be a bitch in jail. Go ahead. All right? you, enjoy, just, you enjoy your life with, will, your, with your divided asshole. My divided you, asshole. And then I'm going to be fighting off they these will, giant ants. They will kill you. No, they won't. These ants will kill you. No, You're I, not an ant. They I, will see you as a predator. No. What are you talking about? What do you, what do you, what do you just say? You listen, can't just say no listen, and then just One dismiss. time a homeless man called me Hermione from Harry Potter. Okay. I believe I got powers. I'm going to beat these fucking hands. Okay. Listen. I might be probably, able to ride them. I might be able know. to like use them as horses. Like you don't know. You it's never my know. universe. You never know. You never know. I'm going to just go ahead and be a bitch in jail. Go ahead with your All divided right. booty hole. Listen, man. I do squats. That makes you more of a target. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna clean myself. What are you talking about? What you're gonna leave it dirty? I'm for in, prisoners. I'm you're in gonna have jail. a dirty, divided booty hole. I'm in jail. I know you are. Yeah. So smell like, doesn't matter to you. Smell matters to me, but it's, it's gonna matter even more to them. They're not gonna want to be around me if I smell. So you're gonna purposely smell. Of course. Oh wow. What are you talking about? You gotta. I mean, survive. I get. It, I get it. It's maximum security. I get it. You gotta survive. <sighs> yeah, I can't live that life. Would you rather chop your pinky toe with a dull axe or drink 12 ounces of someone else's chewing tobacco? No, I'll do the pinky toe. I'll do the pinky toe. No. What? No. You, you could walk without a pinky toe. I'm not drinking somebody's spit. And you ever seen that Just shit? Just one time. I, I used to work at the, I used to work at the airport. Okay. And we used to clean them planes and they, okay. people would leave those spit bottles in there. You yeah. know how much 12? 
Nope. <laughs> 12 ounces. That's this right here. That's eight ounces. That's so there's ounces? two more. That's a bottle? That's two more. Is that no, that's 16. So this that's is 16. 16. That's a so, little. Yeah, okay. So that's it's about right more. here. It's a little bit more. Yeah. That's a lot of. Okay. No, I'm good. No, I'm not chopping your pinky toe off. <laughs> Remember, I would be a barbarian. So yeah, shit no, no, like no, no, that no. is like. No, 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 no. Exactly. I'll read it again for you. Chop, with your, a dull chop axe. off your pinky toe okay. with a dull axe. As long as I just need you to swipe really hard. I just need it's you to swing it. It's a dull axe. I need you to swing really hard. We're going to make it happen. It's a dull axe. It can happen. I can, I can down a bottle of, of spit. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, I yes, do. I, can. I don't believe you. I, would need I don't believe you. I would need. I don't I would, believe you. I would need drugs, but I can down it. I don't believe you. But I can down mm -mm. it. I'm not chalking on my pinky toe. I call. It would take me. <laughs> it would take me. It would. It would. I would no. do very, I would do it in two, 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 two things. I would down half of it. I would freak out I a little bit. I don't believe And then I'll come you. back and nope. I'll down the other nope. half. I'm not pink. I, okay, Bro, so I'm going to schedule. Toe. I would like to schedule. If you Who drink are you scheduling? It, no, if you drink 12 mean. ounces of saliva we with not, tobacco, we are not I will cut my pinky, pinky we are not toe off with a, We're not scheduling. I don't believe you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Because you sound like you have a plan and they're like, yeah. No. Yeah, it sounds like it's not that hard. <laughs> it sounds like it's not that hard. But, That's what I'm saying. No, no. Would you rather get hit with bird poo every 30 seconds <laughs> or produce 100 times the burgers you currently produce? The burgers? Oh, no. A hundred times the burgers. That's a lot. I get hit with poop. Every, every 30 seconds? You can't just carry a napkin around? Every 30 in your in your house, too. See, here's... <laughs> Okay, if it's what if it's just outside? What if it's just outside? If you walk outside, bro, every thirty that's twice a minute, bro. No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like I don't like mucus, man. Bro. Thirty I like, seconds. I don't like snot and mucus. Stop. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. I smoke a lot of pot. Okay. Where did you park? Where did you park on the street? Uh further up. Further up by yeah. the by the by the tennis no, there's, courts. There's like a tree. No, no, there's like right right up the street. There's a space. There's a space. Yeah. All right. Did you park under a tree or after the tree? After the tree. After the tree. Yeah. All right. That's gonna take you three minutes. All right. You get pooped on six <laughs> times. From from my here's the thing. I don't like mucus. Here's the thing, and that's from when you walk out of this door. <laughs> To your car. You get pooped on six times. I don't, I, don't, I don't like mucus. I don't like it. But you'd rather cousin, get pooped on? I have a cousin, man. He got bad sinus infection. He's all, he's doing okay. that thing. And it's so okay. disgusting. Okay. But he my favorite cousin, though. And I love you to death, bro. You know, but it's shout like, out shout out to you, B. Uh, but it's, 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 he's really stocked up all the time. And I'm like, damn, man. I'm glad I ain't got allergies like that. I used to be a sickly child. I'm not anymore, and I don't like mucus. Why? What is that? If anything, poop. So you okay? Hear me out again. I'm gonna say this again. From from the moment you leave my apartment door, okay, yeah, you're gonna get pooped on six <laughs> times, and you're okay with that? I don't. I'm not okay with it, but I gotta make a choice. Then why can't you just bring out a handkerchief? You, I would just use a handkerchief because you gotta like blow your nose and weird points and times and that's fine snot rockets okay okay hear me out again let's say you get nominated for an oscar mm -hmm. you're out you're at the red carpet yeah the red carpet's outside yeah you're doing interviews all throughout the red carpet uh -huh. right yeah you get an interview with et you do uh -huh. an interview with fox you do an interview with abc you do an interview with good morning america jimmy kimmel Guillermo's out there for some reason you know what i mean <laughs> then there's like all the the black Things that no one cares about that they just stick them at the end of the red carpet that most people skip but you're but you're not going to do that because you're a black power guy so you like support my people I'm going to do the interviews you get shit on at least at least 50 times during this you're okay with that you're on a red carpet there's a choice you're wearing a Gucci suit right now but then I got to be blowing snot and throwing snot on everybody at least the other thing it's like man this motherfucker but you can always say you have a condition 
What's the condition called that you get pooped on every? These every 30 birds seconds? are a bunch of motherfuckers. That's the condition. Yeah, you, you can just say you, <laughs> you killed. Can, you can say you fucking, killed a crow. You know what I'm saying? I killed one of their homies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not my fault, like the shit. thing. But if you just uh, like blowing your nose constantly, like oh, keep in mind, my cousin don't isn't like he ain't a disgusted motherfucker. Yeah, but, but he has like sinus a condition. Problems. He has a sinus condition. Yeah, and it's like, yo, dude, that's kind of crazy. Now, if I got a freaking like. Have a lot of that? That's insane. Just, uh, uh, I mean, yeah. How but, do you live your life like that? I'd rather get shit on. You can take shit off on a post. Now okay. I'm thinking about it. Okay. Like, think about it. I'll do the. Okay. If, it sucks. It's a shitty life to live, man. I would carry around an umbrella. Just, you know what I'm saying? You got to figure out. You got to adapt. Get one of those uh, uh, umbrellas those, yeah. uh, the Asians use. Yeah. Or just be, a headband. That's what I'm saying. I would just do. No, or just sometimes I see Asian ladies with just umbrellas mm-hmm. during a, on a regular day for the sun. Mm-hmm. You know, because they don't want to melt or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It ain't you know, got melanin. Yeah. Old Asian ladies, they just melt. Mm-hmm. Um, facts on Tough Choice. Yeah. But yeah, I know. I'm still doing the poo. I'm still doing not. I'm still doing the burgers. I'll do the burgers and just carry around multiple it's handkerchiefs. It's a fact about birds. Okay. They don't have vaginas or buttholes. They're called cloacas. I call it a pooter cooter. <laughs> Cause, Wait, cause, they poop out of their vagina? Yeah, the poop is all, it's all one hole. Oh, that's fine. Pooter cooter. That doesn't change my that doesn't change my mind. Oh, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Oh, just an interesting yeah. fact. Yeah, but they don't have no muscles. That's why they just dump everywhere. Mm. So it's like it's in theory. So that's why it's just flying and going. Mm. Good old pooter cooter. Good old pooter cooter. Mm-hmm. I'm still doing the boogers. Okay. I'm still wait. So you're doing the poop for? for I'll, like, I'll, I'll for do the good. poop. I just do the poop. It's just it's weird. Would you rather watch your parents have sex okay. or be publicly accused of being a member of the KKK? Ooh. I will remind you, you are very white. <laughs> I can I play Mexican. I, not, I can maybe. I do not care that you're from Hawaii. You are white as fuck. Well, you kinda have, I, I've been privately accused of being a member of the KKK. Really? But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were serious just now. You're like, interesting. I was like, oh, definitely a question after this podcast. Like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Um, I'll do the KKK. Well, yeah, you. That's easy because for you. I'm black. Exactly. Come that's a, that's a gimme for a Who's black guy. Who's gonna anyone that publicly accuses me? Yeah, you're gonna be like clearly stupid. You're gonna be like no. I yeah, like, exactly. Right, and that. then you just walk away. Well, who's accusing me? Is it like you? Mm, does it matter? I'll be like, no, me? I'm not. Because yeah, does it matter? Up. Yeah, does it matter about who's accusing you? If it's like a, if it's like Jesse Jackson. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I'm, yeah, exactly, I'm exactly. Like Barack Obama comes. If, if Barack Obama <laughs> shows up and be like, that Billy person, Simon, known member of the KKK. Yeah, does it matter? If okay, let's say how let's how say hard are my parents going at it? They're having sex. I don't know. They're going to town. Hey, my man. parents are divorced, and my mom's gay. So <laughs> it'd be a weird. Hey, man, it'd, be, it'd be really uncomfortable. That'd be yeah, and you'd sit, that'd be assault, and you would sit through that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing KKK. You gotta do the KKK. I gotta Honestly, go KKK. I'm not gonna lie, Willie. You gotta do the KKK on this one. <laughs> that's that's fucking Listen, hard. It doesn't mean you're actually a member. It's just that you're accused. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's just it would. I'm not gonna lie. I, you're, it would just be. It would just suck for a week. Yeah, really. That's fine. No one would remember. Remember when that? When the, remember when that random dude said Willie was a member of the KKK <laughs> and Willie was like, "No, you know me," and we were like, oh, "Okay, it's fine." Yeah, exactly. Really, be like, yeah. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have any yeah. evidence? Exactly. No. That's the, you just he just accuses me. Accused. You're just that's publicly fine. accused. Yeah. Bring on the KKK. Yeah, bring on the KKK. Bring on the clan, baby. It's not even that bad. <laughs> All right. Would you rather? Be sexually attracted to an inanimate object and nothing else. Or I've seen that. Perform a Nazi salute every time <laughs> someone greets you. Listen, this I know we just did the KKK, KKK thing, KKK. but <laughs> this one's much worse. This one's this much one's worse. Exponentially. This one, this one's you're definitely a member. This is the prerequisite to getting accused of being a member of yeah, the KKK. Yeah, the KKK. <laughs> this is the prerequisite. Okay, listen. <laughs> I can't. I can't pull off a Nazi salute. Do one. I can't pull that. Pull me one. No, I don't even know how to do that. One, I'm not doing. That. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't. Like that. You got to do the inanimate <laughs> object, bro. <laughs> Willie Simon just did a Nazi salute as a test run, and I swear to God, that was the most racist shit I've seen in my life. Yo, you got to do the inanimate object. That's we both have to. Yeah. Plus, Man. like, I have. I'm half Jewish, so. That'd be just an insult to, yeah, to exactly. my family. That'd be, that'd yeah. be just oh, wrong. Oh, no, man. 
Yeah, neither one of them. Plus, What's it's the like sexually attracted to an inanimate, inanimate object. Do I get to pick it? Does it matter? Like, what, what if it's like a fan? Does it matter? Would it matter? You're gonna it's stick your dick in a fan? Dude, no, you're just sexually attracted. You're not gonna be weird with it. You're just. You're not gonna go attracted. for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna go. <laughs> They're only fantasies. I don't think you're gonna go for it. I feel like eventually. And nothing else. If and we've nothing learned, else. if we've learned anything about pedophiles, we know eventually fantasies become real. Yeah. And I'm gonna stick my dick in a fan if I'm attracted to it. What if it's like just a cantaloupe or something? Well, that's easy. Yeah, if you can fruit, heat it up. Yeah, exactly. If it's fruit, <laughs> if it's if it's a cantaloupe, I'll do that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Let's say, let's say, be sexually attracted to a cantaloupe and nothing else, or perform a Nazi salute every time someone greets you. Hundred percent cantaloupe. You gotta fuck the cantaloupe. But what if it's a Nazi salute or Fan? hot car or hot something like car? that? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do the Nazi salute. You gotta do the Nazi salute. I'm just, listen, you gotta do Nazi salute, and I just have to accept that most of my friends. I don't think anyone, st- it's like still the KKK thing and be like, yeah, that's Kazim. Black guy always doing the Nazi thing. It's a joke. No, you know what I mean? It wouldn't still, be. But it's like, but there's still, but I still know a lot of Jewish people. That's true. Right? And eventually. Eventually, it's like, yo, she's like, <laughs> eventually, eventually someone's gonna have that conversation where it's like, Yo, Kazim, can you just stop doing that? Yeah, and you're like, like I can yeah, never, exactly. I, can never I can't. Stop. And you're like, hey, Kazim, and then suddenly just <laughs> not to salute. Yo, no. I don't know. You just did it, and it, it looks good on you, man. I don't know. Listen, <laughs> I am still black, so it's like, it can. Can I pull it off? Probably. I think. But 10, I will lose friends. 10, 15 times you can pull it off. Yeah. But then after like every months time, and months. Yeah. After a like, year. Dude, take it easy, man. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> every time. Every time you're pulling a Nazi hey, man, We're in public, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's right. messed up. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> hey, guys. This is Kazim. I am back. That was our exclusive cuts episode. Hopefully you enjoyed all the questions that we had. If you have a question you'd like us to consider or a Mary Fuck Kill in the future you'd like us to consider, if you have a situation for our Something's Gotta Go or for Black Excellence, email toughchoice at outlook.com. That is toughchoice at outlook.com. Like, share, subscribe to our podcast, share with your friends, tell your friends about it, listen to it with your family. This is a very family friendly podcast. All right. You can find me online at Kazim Comedy. That's K-A-Z-E-E-M Comedy. I've been Kazim Ramon. You guys have been amazing. Thanks very much. (laughs) 